You may be seated. Welcome. I now declare the 2018 commencement exercises at Southeast Kentucky and Community College open. Welcome to Southeast's 53rd annual commencement celebration. I'm Dr. Vic Adams, President and CEO of Southeast, and on behalf of the Board of Directors, the faculty and staff, I extend our sincerest congratulations to our graduates. I want to extend our thanks and appreciation to all of the families and friends who are here tonight. Your graduate probably would not have been here without your support encouragement, and perhaps even sacrifice, and for that, we honor you as well. Next, I would like to recognize five dedicated employees who will be retiring at the end of this semester. Would Astor Simpson, and shirts. Ann McCula. Johnny Ray. And Alva Saylor. And I don't know if Alva made it here tonight or not. Congratulations to you all. And, and please enjoy your retirement. And you have made Southeast a better place. I would now like to ask if you are a veteran of the United States Armed Forces, would you please stand so that we can show our appreciation for your dedication and service to our country. This year, the college started a new tradition to honor our student veterans and provided them with red, white, and blue cords to wear during graduation. Please again, join me in thanking them for their service. I also want to call your attention to members of the Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College Board of Directors and the Southeast Education Foundation board members. As I call your name, would you please stand and be recognized for your leadership and service to the college. Mr. Rayburn Doss, Chair. <laughs> Ms. Sandy Miller, our Vice Chair. Sandy could not be with us tonight, but is here in spirit. Mr. A. Bailey. Mr. Ronnie Hampton. Ms. Charity Collett Hayes could not be with us tonight. Ms. Jane Hendrickson. Ms. Sandy Hogg. Sandy could not be with us either. Dr. Roy Silver, who is our faculty representative. Ms. Rochelle Sampson, who is our staff representative. and Mr. Chad Scott, who is our student representative. Thank you too for your service to the college. At this time, I wanna also express my appreciation to the staff of Harlan County High School for their hospitality. I also want to thank the college's commencement committee who has been working all year to make this evening a success. Will the commencement committee please stand and will the audience please join me in thanking them for all of their hard work. Thank you. 
I would now like to call upon our student representative, Chad Scott, for the invocation. Let us bow our head. Heavenly Father, we ask you for your almighty hand to be upon all those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. In your holy and precious name we pray, amen. Thank you, Chad. At this time, it's my honor to introduce to you Mr. Rayburn Doss, who is the chair of the SKCTC Board of Directors, to give his welcome and greetings from the board. Thank you, Dr. Adams. And good evening, and welcome to our 218 graduation. Graduating class, uh, Dr. Ayers, I mean, Dr. Vic Adams, president, faculty, staff, special guests, family, and friends. You know, he took my speech. I was going to introduce all my board, and he done and done it. He took my speech. But anyway, I want to welcome each one that's here. So we do have three of our members here, which is Jane Henderson, A. Bailey, and Ronnie Hampton. And let me get down here. The board welcomes you to our 218 graduation. Thank you for choosing Southeast Community College. Uh, we, the board, wish you a great and healthy life. You've got a lot ahead of you. You've got a lot of good education here. And first of all, the graduation, this is your special night. This is your time to enjoy what you've been working so hard for. Enjoy your family and your friends. Thank you for choosing Southeast Community College. Now at this time, we will present the colors by the Harlan County High School ROTC. Would you please stand? stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs burst 
At this time, I'd also like to introduce another important memory of our, member of our gallery, and that's my wife, Dee Dee. Dee, if you'd stand up. <laughs> At this time, too, I'd like to introduce our faculty representative, Robert Gap, to give greetings from the faculty. It's my honor to uh, welcome you all here. We're very proud of all the students. We, uh, your success is our success, and we couldn't be happier for you. And for the family and friends of, of our graduates, we're grateful to you, and we love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Robert. I would once again like to call upon our student representative, Chad Scott, to give greetings from the students. On behalf of the 2018 graduating class of Southeast Community and Technical College, I'd like to welcome everyone to this year's commencement ceremony. For the most part, we are a diverse group of individuals. Some are graduating with degrees and diplomas ready to enter into the workforce. Others will transfer to another college or university to pursue a higher degree. However, we all share some things in common. Through our experience here at Southeast, not only have we gained an education, we've gained a self-confidence to approach any goal that we set in life. We have also formed friendships that will last a lifetime. I would like to thank everyone for their encouragement and support as we have worked toward conquering this stage in our lives. Without you, we would not be where we are today. As students, we will never forget the wonderful experiences and all the laughter we have shared. We will carry these memories in our hearts forever. I'd like to leave you with a quote that I think not only applies to the graduates here tonight, but everyone else as well. The late poet T.S. Eliot once said, only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Congratulations, graduates. Never stop believing. Thank you, Chad. Since its inception in 1960, the college has conferred thousands of degrees, diplomas, and certificates to thousands of graduates. Since 2000 alone, the college has awarded 16,068 credentials to 8,980 graduates. The class of 2018 includes 736 candidates for graduation who have earned 1,200 and 38 credentials consisting of degrees, diplomas, and certificates. We are pleased to see a 23% increase in the credentials and a 7% increase in candidates for graduation. As you can see, we are positively impacting the communities we serve and bettering the lives of our most important asset, our people. It's a long recognized tradition at graduation to have a guest commencement speaker, someone who is successful and noteworthy, someone who has made a significant impact in our community. Choosing a speaker requires careful consideration because that person must be able to motivate, inspire, and impart wisdom for our graduates as they end one chapter of their lives and begin another. This year, we ask ourselves, who better to motivate, inspire, impart wisdom than the graduates and former graduates themselves? So tonight, I'm honored to end introduce to you our 2018 commencement speaker, our number one priority, and that's you, our students. Please watch the video.
these times you, uh, you sit back and you think, where you was at two years ago? Well, two years ago, I was in path fork under the ground somewhere, working. All of my family's coal miners. I'm a fifth generation coal miner, so that's kind of, you know, uh, old family tradition. Never thought that I would be in school. Well, I was uh, recently laid off in the coal mines. I was needing to find another way to, you know, start a new career, find a new job. And I know that going to school, you know, would be the best option for me to do that. I uh, first came to Southeast right after I graduated high school. I didn't have maybe the highest GPA in, in, in high school. And so coming here, I was able to fix all those mistakes and uh, better my career for the future. If I can do it, I know anybody can. And that's just as plain as I could put it. Yeah, I'm getting A's. And it, it blows my mind, you know, at times, because I'm like, how could I not do this in school? Well, I didn't go come here straight out of high school. I went to the University of Kentucky first for four years, and then I came here. You, I feel like I was really young when I went to UK, so I had no idea what I wanted to do. I graduated with a degree that's hard to find a job in here close to home. Just being around my family and having the chance to be with them is really important. I chose Southeast because it seemed like the best fit. I was looking for something with the smaller class ratio. I learned more than I have ever learned in my educational years at Southeast. I just like learning. And that's saying something for something I did not used to enjoy learning. I was a kid, you know, like all kids, distracted. Didn't, uh, did not want to be in school. I actually went to college for about six months before I joined the military. And I dropped out my first semester and then went and joined the military because I didn't, it just didn't, just didn't suit me. I was in the Marines for uh, five years and then got out for a while, did some wandering around. It certainly does now. I love being here. I started Skag Creek Woodshop in 2008. When you're running your own business, you can't know everything. You have to, to have the ability to adapt and to learn something and pick it up. You know, when I was sitting in a Latin American literature class, sitting there wondering how I was going to, you know, how I was going to use this out in the field, uh, it was almost as I was sitting there, an 18, 19 year old kid. It was almost like they were tricking me. <laughs> they were teaching me how to learn by make, by taking that class. Uh, you know, I had to learn something that I wasn't really interested in. But, but that, that skill set that I learned in that short period of time has helped me, you know, learn something that I don't really want to learn pertaining to the business. Anatomy, one of my favorite classes. I don't plan on doing anything in that field, in, in the medical field or anything, but just learning that, just having more knowledge is more knowledge, man. You know, understanding how I work a little better and stuff like that. It's because I'm bettering myself. And that feels good. It's as simple as that. When you get stuck in a rut or something and you stay where you are, which is where I was, if I'd have stayed there mentally, I don't know where I'd be right now. And that matters. You know, your mental capacity is kind of what carries you through this, this world. I'm in this program because I want to help people. Not only that is because I want to have a secure job and I want to have things that my parents didn't have. I don't, I don't have much. I am technically homeless right now. My aunt has been kind enough to give me a place to lay my head at night. I learned to accept it so I could move on. I just, I thought I felt my calling in life. My classmates, we've become basically like one little bit of family, and our instructor is like our mom. So. <laughs> it's really hard for parents to go to school 
you know, because not only do you have the stress of uh, being a student, but you have these kids that are watching you. They are so proud of me. And any time that I fail at something, I show them that I, that I have. And it's not out of being proud of it, it's I wanna show them that even if you fail at something or you're horrible at something, you gotta work at it. You know, you gotta study, you gotta do better. The way I look at it is if I keep failing and keep failing, I gotta fall forward. You know, keep falling forward. And eventually I'll get there. I had somebody to be like, hey, I've been there, you know, and you can do this. And that's honestly what makes Southeast so great is because, you know, there's these teachers and professors have been where we are at, have been where we're at, and they want to share that story with you. They want to motivate you and to make you see and realize that you're not, the, you're not alone. You know, you're not the only ones that's been there and done that. I've got you. We can do this together. Like, that's what makes it great. My one mentor at Southeast Community College, he believed in me. He saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. And he had the conviction to tell me about it and to just tell me that I could do it. And that's all it took. And I was, from that point forward, I was pre-med. I've not met a bunch of people in my life that was better than what I've met here at Southeast. They actually care. They actually care about you. And they'll go the extra mile to, to make sure you get that education. Caring, that's a, that's a good word, because you don't find that a lot. But they were genuinely interested to see me continue kind of thing. Having people that you know are there, who if you don't show up one day, they care. And they wonder, I wonder where this person is. Something as simple as that. I wouldn't be the person that I am today without Southeast. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be who I am without Mr. Simpson, you know, Miss Barracks, Miss Cloud, Dr. Omar, Rebecca, you know, Mr. Markham, all of them. I would not be even just the person that I am. But without Southeast, I wouldn't be able to make the money that I'm going to make anywhere else. I really don't believe that. Southeast required us to have a preceptor in the field that we wanted to pursue after we finished our nursing degree. So through that program, I was able to land a job right after. I don't think there's one student that I graduated with who doesn't have a job right now. Yeah, I've, I've had... Uh two job offers uh, since I've started, and uh, uh, man, I, I'm ecstatic about that. The day we come back from passing boards, we could all have a job. That's what appealed to me, is being able to get a good education, get a good job, and still be home. Sometimes it seems that it's a dream that, that I'm chasing this. You know, it just don't seem real at times. Sure don't. Aspire to be everything that you have in you. Let everything in you come out. And never 
ever stop. Just don't stop growing, don't stop seeking. Um, follow your passion. Because I chose Southeast. 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 That's why we're all here. Faculty and staff, that's why we're here, right? I want to thank Sean Land, our director of marketing, uh, for producing that film. Sean, where are you? There's Sean. Last week at Honor Nights, we re at Honors Night, we recognized outstanding Southeast students for excellence in academics, leadership, and technical achievement. We're extremely proud of these students and the contributions that they have made to our college. Graduates, many of you were among those award winners, but whether you were or not recognized during that celebration, I want you to know that each of you sitting here tonight has your own success story to tell. Students like Mark Lane, the fifth generation coal miner who lost his job because of the declining coal industry. He didn't give up. Instead, he turned adversity into opportunity and pursued a career in nursing. Mark will walk across this stage tonight. Students like Shakira Gregory, a young woman who started over in another field, respiratory care, so that she could stay close to home and the people she loves and enjoy a thriving career. Shakira will walk across this stage tonight. Students like Shaylin Hamilton, who has persisted in the face of homelessness. Shaylin will walk across this stage tonight, having achieved her goal. Students like Betty Bolton, who has summoned the courage to use her wrong turns as stepping stones teaching tools for her children to use in their own lives. Betty's children will watch as she walks across the stage tonight. Graduates, the stories you have heard tonight probably sound familiar. You had that special instructor or staff member who helped you throughout this challenge. You have supportive family who believed in you. You were determined to walk across this stage despite what it took to get here. You are a story of success. You met the challenge. I once heard that every great story involves choice and change. The choices you made to earn the credentials you are receiving tonight were not easy. They required sacrifice and hard work but the change they have brought to you and those you are are at the heart of your great story. Tonight, I offer you congratulations to each one of you. I encourage you to continue your story by making more choices that will lead to change in your lives and the communities you will impact. I want to now 
call upon Dr. Rebecca Parrott, Vice President of Student Affairs, to preside over the presentation of candidates for their credentials. Congratulations, graduates. Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Associate in Applied Science please rise. <laughs> Dr. Adams, on behalf of the faculty at Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College, it is my privilege to present to you for their degrees these students who have successfully completed the requirements for the Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, or Associate in Applied Science degree and have been so certified by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Kentucky Community and Technical College System, I confer upon you the degree of Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, or Associate in Applied Science with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the diplomas please rise? Dr. Adams, on behalf of the faculty at Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College, it is my privilege to present to you for their diplomas these students who have successfully completed the requirements for the appropriate diplomas and have been so certified by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Kentucky Community and Technical College system, I confer upon you the appropriate diploma with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the diplomas please rise once again. Please come forward to receive your credentials as directed by the ushers. Again, Peyton Douglas. James Samuel Gully. Russell Miracle.
Tyler Caleb Jerry Parton. Next, diplomas in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Randall Hembry. J James E. Martin. Jacob Muncie. Johnny Shackelford. Christopher Turner. <clears throat> Jeffrey B. Williamson. Diploma in Industrial Maintenance Technology, Michael Patterson. <clears throat> Diploma in Medium and Heavy Truck Technician, Ryan Christopher Bingham. Casey Jones. <laughs> Diplomas in Practical Nursing. Kimberlyn Bargo. Stacy Ann Collins. <laughs> Kathleen Coots. Radon M. Cawthorn. <clears throat> Sh 
Sharon Ann Fields. Brittany Shea Hall. Mark C. Lane. Samantha Lewis. Hope Ann Redmond. Associate in Arts. Alexis Annette Adkins. Logan Akers. Brianna Laura Lee Baldwin. Mindy Bill Ray. Anthony Carr. <laughs> Justin Cooper. LaCosta Renee Cozart. <laughs> Casey Creech. Emily Michelle Cup. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Day.
Hannah Eldridge. Kendra Danielle Farr. <laughs> Ashley M. Gooden. Sydney Kelly. <laughs> Matthew A. Lang. Dessa Mayfield. Joshua Miracle. Lisa Marie Patterson. <clears throat> Janet Faye Rice. Andra Mahi Saragas. Matthew Ryan Sawyers. Jeffrey Davin Sailor. Samantha Renee Sailor. Miranda Skidmore. <laughs> now Associate in Science degrees. Jacqueline Anderson. <laughs> T 
Tracy Lynn Ball. Derek M. Barnett. Tanya Begley. Betty Lou Bolton. <laughs> Keith J. Brewer. Erica Joan Brock. <laughs> Elaine Burkhart. Eric Burkhart. <laughs> Jeremy Cobb. Sarah Jessica Collins. Austin Dakota Cornett. Willem Van Diamante. Sarah Dixon. Lisa M. Drake. <laughs> Amanda J. Fleming. Ashley Gooden. <laughs> K. 
Kirsten Hall. Bailey Hensley. Bill Hogg. Cody Terrell Howard. Micah Hubbard. Sandy C. Jackson. Nicholas Jarvis. Desiree Jones. Adam M. Joseph. Joni E. Madden. William Isaac Muncy. Michaela Parton. Melinda Polly. Timothy Price. Michael C. Rizzola. <laughs> Leah Victoria Sailor. Brian Lee Sieber. Yeah. 
Jessica Brianne Paulson Tippett. Hannah Vaughn. <laughs> Hannah Lee Wilder. Associate in Applied Science, Advanced Practice Respiratory Therapist, Brandy N. Gay. <laughs> Jonathan Branham. William Jake Bruner. <laughs> Tiffany Click. Michaela K. Combs. <laughs> Taylor A. Day. Sarah Gail Dean. Shakira Gregory. Michael J. Idle Jr. <laughs> Misty Dawn Johnson. Marcia L. Minton. <laughs> Matasha N. Mullins. Sean Rigney. Woo! 
Chad Scott. Kelsey Shackelford. Randy Seiler. Associate in Applied Science Business Administration, Sarah L. Jones. <laughs> Malcolm Worthington. Associate in Applied Science, Computer and Information Technology, Jeremy Capps. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Brandon Arwood. Savannah Bentley. <laughs> Heather Smith Brewer. Bobby Davis Poston. <clears throat> Chad Everett Richmond. Associate in Applied Science, Diesel Technology, Jacob D. Calebs. Logan M. Cosby. Dakota Scott Harris. Zachary Michael Hilton.
Dakota Lomeo. Associate in Applied Science Education, Kimberly Clark. <laughs> Dalton Jones. Veronica Carlina McFall. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, General Occupational and Technical Studies, Dakota Wilburn Urban. Brian Smith. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Medical Laboratory Technician, Amber K. Brown. Dominique Bunch. <laughs> Cynthia Fee. Jeremiah Gibson. Adam Holman. Mallory Johnson. Lacey Moses. Lindsay Pingleton. Yeah. Megan Prater. Caitlin Shoup. Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. 
Katrina Anderson Barton. Megan Marie Baker. Elizabeth Marie Branham Buttram. Katrina K. West. <laughs> Whitney Boggs. Chloe Blair. <laughs> Courtney Brown. Morgan Elizabeth Collett. Jason Dixon. Jasmine C. Dotson. Kelsey Page Ingle. Merley Acres Lane. Dallin, Dallin, Michael John Dowlin. Corey Mitchell Lee. Carlene Elizabeth Dewar. Kylie Samantha Ellis. Susan Cheyenne Griffin. Allison Joy Harris. K. 
Caitlin Alicia Marie Gent. Rebecca Jones. Just with Desiree Jordan. April C. Jump. Caitlin Knuckles. Sancha Diane Lee. <laughs> Brianna Madden. Bridget Lynn Maiden. Stephen Keith Manis. Haley McCone. <laughs> Angela Star Metcalf. Jenna Leanne Pogue. Mason Salyers. James Dalton Simpson. Elizabeth A. Turner. Cassandra Ward. (laughs) 
Caleb Andrew Wise Duty. William Howard Wynn the second. Jessica Wynn. Associate in Applied Science, Physical Therapist Assistant, Whitney Anderson. <laughs> Kayla R. Bentley. William Boggs. <laughs> Taylor A. Fleming. April Lavon Phipps. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science Radiography, Catherine Dawn Church. Laura L. Cummings. <laughs> Kristen Victoria Holbrook. J. Andrew Lewis. Larry Ratliff the third. Norma J. Shields. <laughs> Ashley Morgan Smith. Brandon Wharf. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Surgical Technology, Ashley Danielle Ament. Ray 
Rachel Kaylin Carmichael. Whitney Michelle Chadwick. Mason Haley Charles. Justin Edward Hensley. Lakin Danielle Merida. Emily Dawn Rouse. And Associate in Applied Science of Criminal Justice, Candy Lynn Moe. I'm steaming, hot, hot. I know that. <laughs> We're up here talking about how hot we are. I'm waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2018. Graduates, in recognition of the completion of the requirements for your credential, you may now switch the tassel on your cap from the right side to the left side, signifying your graduation. Thank you, staff and faculty, for being a part of all of these amazing graduation stories. Your instruction and support were clearly appreciated. Thank you guests for celebrating this very special occasion with us. On behalf of the Kentucky Community and Technical College System and the Southeast Board of Directors, faculty and staff, I extend our best wishes to the graduates. Audience, will you please stand and join me and the Southeast faculty and staff in the singing of my old Kentucky home.
than my old Kentucky home. Good night. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home, far away. Ladies and gentlemen, as president of Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College, I now declare these proceedings closed.